time, but... Alright, everybody. Let's do this! Let's march on! I have a thousand staff members to sign- Ooh, and before I forget, uh, we need to customize the jerseys and change the, uh, the number on the home uni. Still an incredible uni. Oh my god. Is this uniform just... Just overly sexual. My god. But we do need to change it a little bit. As in, the numbers need to be pink. Which means I don't think I'll be able to make the outline blue. I can. It ends up looking a little bit weird, so I think we'll have to uh, do what we did before on the outside, because we need these to pop. There we go. I mean, that's it. Again, these, these home uniforms, man. This is one of my favorite set of uniforms I've ever put together. Like, really. They're that nice. They really are. The road uni as well, going with white was a damn good call. Big, big fan. Big, big fan indeed. And then, yeah. The alternate as well. In honor of NMLs. Can't read the font on the nameplate. What are you talking about? It's white. What do you mean you can't read the font on the nameplate? It's just in white. And it's three letters. <laughs> so yeah, these jerseys are fantastic. I am not gonna... Why would I make the font pink? Are you white colorblind, AJ? How can you not read that? Are you... What? How... How big is the screen that you're watching on? That's even worse. I mean, I could do this, but... You're telling me that would be more legible? Really? I mean, pink and black, it's not the most illegible, but... I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Like... That's still much easier to read. Taps, thank you for the fiver. It's staying the way it is. Deal with it. Suck it. They're perfect. We're not getting into this. Alright, so, we went to sign some staff members. 17,000 people rejected. To the point where I actually don't think we ended up with any new scout members. God damn, read my last message. I will not. I will not. I will not do that. Just about a half of the Toronto Pride Parade. And they left the ink security tag on it. Oof. Oof. Do you have the proper tool to take it off? <laughs> because that's... That's a rough time. There's gotta be some way to Google how to take those off, right? There's gotta be. Or you just go back to the store tomorrow. I was asleep when you were live earlier. See, that's why I wanted to do two different streams. Because not everybody can be around at night. Not everybody can be around in the afternoon. That's why I always do my charity streams in, uh, you know... An afternoon variant, the nighttime variant, sometimes we carry it over to Sunday. Uh, if I stream tomorrow, we'll definitely carry this over. Um, I don't know if I am going to stream tomorrow, because I'm going to get to see my girlfriend for more than two and a half hours for the first time in two weeks. So, yeah. I'm going to be simping real hard. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. Let's send out deals to all of these Sea Scouts. Okay, maybe not all of them because there's a crap load of them. But I need a full scouting department, even if it's not that good. Because Lord knows our scouting department for last year was terrible. Marks went to Buffalo. Oh, my God. I cannot get any. There we go. We finally got somebody. Finally a coach. Ends up signing with us. Fucking Christmas miracle. It's unbelievable. I'll say the same thing again. You might not have even noticed it. If you did and it's annoying you, I apologize. Have to have some fans on today because I, it's a thousand degrees in this room. I hate it. Uh, once I get back home and I'm actually in my own office, the air circulates a little bit better and it won't be a problem. But for now, god damn it. It's no stream, or <laughs> it is what it is. Talk about simping. Let's get to 1.2 for carry price. <laughs> As it is, I gotta make that damn Garfield cart video now. It's ridiculous. Fucking Garf cart. The top game of a generation. We will have a full review out 
on the main channel for Garf Cart. At least I like to call it Garf Cart. And that there's another one coming up. There is another one coming up. It's just a matter of whether or not we hit that uh, that money total, you know? Like I said, though, you guys set the bar so fucking high with our first ever charity stream last December. Like I said, we hit almost $11,000 over the course of eight hours. And ever since, people are just like, let's let's chill a little bit, which is perfectly fine, man. Because I've always said, 800 1000 whatever it ends up being, it's certainly better than nothing. It is certainly better than nothing. Goodness. Creating custom challenge, right? The wrong upper off, so fucking over the lane. So that must be FHM then. <laughs> that must be some FHM. Oh, I mean, Pens, you got the code today, for God's sake. So there you go. There you go. Ah. Sorry. Goodness. All right. Hate that we have to spend so much time with the coaching staff. We have two spots open, though. It's not going to be the best coaching staff in the world. Um, and in a sense, it might not even be worth doing this to this extent. <laughs> it might not even be worth doing this to this extent. Uh, just because, again, we don't really need an A-grade coaching staff right now because we don't even have any of our draft picks signed yet. Uh, so goalie-wise, again, this year we got Pogie, Hammond, Schneider, and Darling. Two, three, four defensemen at the NHL level. So we have a butt-ton of people to sign to fill out this roster. We will go for the oldies... Notable names. Let's go for Kyle Kaminsky. Mark Andre Gragnani. Che Genoa? It is Che Genoa. He was a the U.S. Olympian, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's got to be Jordy Ben. No, thank you. Uh, Cody Franz in here a little bit too good still. Do we have anybody else? We've sent out, what, three offers? I need at least a few more. Ryan Stanton. Keith Yandel has a chance to get signed by somebody else. We can go for Chris Breen. I'm aiming for sub-70 overall. We don't want to make our team too good. Thomas Hickey. Chad Billens. I think he was on that U.S. Olympic team too, wasn't he? Johanna Vitu. Keith Ali. Fabulous he. Ali Ababwa. All right. And for forwards, Cody McLeod. Let's give, I mean, from one Cody to another. Let's let's pay that man his money. Uh, that's going to be Nate Thompson. He's going to be a bit too good. Uh, Jay Beagle. Is this Brent Sutter? Brett Sutter. There you go. Brent Sutter? Obviously it wouldn't be Brent Sutter. Got to get a Sutter onto the team. Advocator, Bobby Ryan. They're a bit too good. Drew McIntyre. At least I think it's Drew McIntyre. It's David McIntyre. Drew McIntyre was the goalie. Michael Furley. Rhett Rakshani. Yes. Yes. Uh, former Penguin Zach Sill. And his mustache. Buffalo, what's going on? Dale Weiss can suck. Is that Casey Wallman? It is Casey Wallman. We can sign Carter Camper. Former Bruins legend Carter Camper. Let's go for it. How do you know all these first names? Years and years of roster editing, buddy. I was roster editing when these guys were in their early 20s. That's how long I've been doing the whole roster editing deal for, man. So, it's been a long time. God, I love the colors for these two teams. They're unreal. They're unreal. Shout out to Miss Marissa63. Appreciate that follow. And appreciate the gifted sub from Warrior. And a $50 bomb from Crash Mandrews. Give me the best compliment, but instead say, war instead say Warrior instead of Crash. Warrior is the most distinguished... <laughs> the most distinguished wise member of this community. 
Crash knows what I did there. <laughs> Marissa and Genetic Freak, how are you both? Good to see you. Oh, let's see. Give me a second here. Sorry, I had to change some things over there. I fucking hit the wrong button. Oh, I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur. Beautiful. So, a friendly reminder here of everything that we uh, that we have going on today. We do have certain milestone goals. Not as many giveaways because, again, I went to Finland. I wasn't able to work out a ton of those deals because I was incredibly busy on the other side of the world. Um, that said, we do have some things here. You know, if you donate ten bucks, you get to make uh, you get to make a draft pick. You're good to go. Donate twenty five bucks, you can sort that draft list however you want. You can screw us over. You can take the best player you want. You can do whatever. Donate a little bit of money. You can make a draft pick for us. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, top donor, as you can see right now on screen, will be welcomed on to the Tukey's Take podcast. The highest honor ever bestowed. <laughs> oh, let's sign Spencer Rabbit. Let's see who else we can bring in here. Let's see, we need people who aren't that high of an overall. We got some other stuff going on too throughout this stream. So again, I thank you guys for hanging out. What does 50 bucks get me? A big kiss on the mouth when I finally see you, buddy. Jesus. That's what that gets you. You don't want to know what I got to pay Big Nate after how much, or what I got to do to Big Nate after how much money he donated. Let's sign Breck a lot. We'll get some more enforcers in there. Uh, we're only at 26 contracts. I got to sign a lot more people. Jim O'Brien. Jonas Rask. Uh, Zach Ronaldo can suck it. Can I ban Cody to the moon? Yes. Yes, you can. I won't stop you. Former Portland Pirate Luke Adam. Devatron. Thank you. Love the solo pod. Thank you for checking that out as well. Again, I do have, there is uh, on the audio feeds, an episode of the podcast where I talk literally all about Finland. Any, uh... Anything you were like, hey, what about this? What about this? I probably answer that specific question. So make sure to check that out if you haven't. Let's go with uh, Flames legend David Wolf, Leafs legend Jamie Devan, Shadow Stalker. What's up? Uh, it's gonna bring us only up to 34. God, like I like signing people that have familiar names, but we don't want them to be too good. The point is to be bad right now. Anton. Routine crash just outright banned him. That was beautiful. Jerry D'Amigo. The Jerry D'Amigo. Leafs legend. Landon Ferraro. Bruins legend. Love to see it. Love to see it. That's up to 35 contracts. We still need more. Uh, let's go for Brendan Shin Brandon or Brendan Shinneman? I don't know. He played for the Port Brendan Shinneman. He played for the Portland Pirates. That's all I know. That's all I know. Borna Randulik. Riley Shane, Connor Brickley, Scott Wilson. All right, we need a couple more, and then we should be good to go. Brendan Ranford. How much to unban him? How much you got? <laughs> Duplicate Vesterholm, love to see it. Uh, let's go for Devontae Smith. Dude, DSP is only like 30, 31 years old? That's nuts. That's nuts. All right, there we go. Sign all the boys. Like, man, the color schemes on the contracts, they're beautiful. We're good to go. Let's keep it marching. Let's keep it going. Goodness. This is the most random player that I've ever met. Uh, PJ Stock. <laughs> PJ Stock is the answer. Let's take a look at our rookies really quickly. So Morales is a 79, Escalinen's a 78. And we will hold off on signing anybody that we've drafted so far. 
We'll hold off on signing any of them. Goalies, Pogi and Hammond. Defense. Uh, we do want to get Luke Prokop onto the team. He is our captain. We'll play Kyle Kamiski. And then forwards. Wow, Griffith went up to a 76. It's going to be way too good. He's going to be way too good. Let's see what this team ends up looking like. Again, right now the goal is to sim as many early seasons as we possibly can. There you go, Luke Prokop. All Cody series one. I don't think there's enough. Dude, I love the look of the AHL team. I really do. I don't think there's enough. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, let's fix up the coaching staff really quickly. And in fairness, that's fine. It's more so the staff. It's more so the staff that we got to fix up real quick. Who's currently playing? This is Depeche Mode. Song. No, there's John the Revelator. Depeche Mode, great band. Great, great band. Um, God, one of their... Uh, yeah, one of their founding members, uh, Andy Fletcher, just passed away last month? Last month, yeah. Great band, though. Prokop is the one exception, yes. People demanded that we had Luke Prokop on the team. So. Uh, Alright, let's switch you over to the OHL. Gotta optimize these and hopefully not do it again uh, for a while. Hello, well, JK. Jesus, U.S. Weast. Save some for the rest of us. Oh, my God. What the hell? How did every scout I end up signing belong to that son of a bitch? Belong to that region? Doesn't make sense. The Weast of us. Well done. Well done. Captain Pro Cop, that's true. Dude, if I could get the jersey that we've made with Pro Cop on the back, oh, that'd be incredible. That would be incredible. All right, we need a Swissman. A Swissman. Ah, shit. I just keep. I just keep hitting wrong buttons. We need a Swissman or a Swiss woman from US Weast. We are based in the west of the U.S. It's true. We got an SHL scout, two Liga, two Russia. Good to go. Good to go. Let's start simming, damn it. <laughs> the only thing that matters in the early seasons of a draft of glory are, of course, the, uh, the drafts and just building up our talent pool. Although, really quickly, one more look at these goddamn... Gorgeous jerseys. I can't get over them. They are seriously my favorite jerseys we've ever made. Big Nate with another 50. I'm getting close to having to make that Carey Price video. Crash Andrews, if you would please unban Cody. Hawks with the tenor. Licking doorknobs is illegal on other planets. It's illegal on this planet, too. God, these look so good. It's the home jersey for me. That home jersey is just... Oh, God. Kenny G, pure sax. And then the alternate, which is just fabulous. God, these jerseys. They're so good. They're so good. If I ever play Ishil again, they have to be there. How about the Don Sweeney extension? I will talk about it on the podcast because I've had a good day, and I don't want to make it a bad day by talking about that man. <laughs> Let me have today. Just let me have today. Now, the one thing that we didn't do, that we do typically do, let's put up another prediction. Last year, we won 10 games. So I'm going to set the over-under at 8.5 wins. The prediction is up. 8.5 wins. Neely, it's perfectly fine. You know how I feel about Don Sweeney. You know how I feel. Here comes the pizza. It's catcher. 33 months. Unfortunately, I missed the first one. Catcher, it's all good. Again, that's why we do two streams on a charity day. That's why we do two streams on a charity day, because not everybody can watch the early stream. Not everybody can watch the late stream. So there you go. Not you with the gambling betting stuff. <laughs> all 
Fair enough. All in on over, JD says. All right, let's get it going. Let's get it going. As the predictions roll in. How many games will this team win? Our first win of the season against the Baston Bruins. And we march on from here. Oh boy, I don't know if we're hitting double digits this year, guys. I don't know if we are. This is, uh... This is looking pretty rough. J oh, that's why. Jaden Halbjoax. Stop the count. He never signed. We're missing our MVP. Jesus. Baseball is life. What are the rules? Nothing. Just a straightforward draft of glory. Got to give Jaden Halbjoax that money. He scored the first ever goal in team history. We got to sign him. And we'll start winning games. Let's make sure he's here. Catcher with the 25. Catcher, thank you very, very much. It's a soft G. I don't know. Let's look it up. Let's look it up on the on Elite Prospects. Elite Prospects should have it. And if they don't, then I'm fucked. All right, Jaden. Do they have name pronunciation? They don't. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. <laughs> Highlights. All right, I'm going to mute this. It probably won't come up in audio for you guys. That's okay. I just, I need to hear. There he is. There's our boy. Am I going to get DMCA'd? Yeah, that's his name, all right. Say his name! It's Hobgawax, apparently. I'm going with Hobgawax, which is funnier. If we're being honest, Hobgawax is even better. Love to see it. You said the G was silent, though. Or a soft G. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. Anyway, he's on the team. It's a beautiful thing. You'll love to see it. Jaden, Eastern European last name. Basically. <laughs> Basically. It's, uh... You know, you, you pick up players from, uh... From the lower ends of the free agent list, and you get all the fun names, you know? And immediately we win over the Columbus Blue Jays. Yeah, Jaden, very Polish, exactly. We have two wins in our last three games with Jaden, Jaden H. Oh my God, we are actually starting to win games with him on this team. <laughs> we might not win enough, but just like that, we're up to four wins. We might make this happen. Goodness, up to seven? Oh my god, they might do this. They might do this. The line was set at eight and a half. Hawks, thank you for those bits. They're at seven. Now at eight. They need one more win. At the beginning of February, they need one more win. Top hat with the tenor. Let's go. I can't miss the magical moment. There it is. They got it. Two years in a row with likely double-digit wins. Let's go. Top hat. You know, always get the better. Uh, top hat. You're delightful. Thank you. We're buyers, let's be honest. Congrats to people that bet the over. This team's magic. This team is magic. Coco, you beautiful man. Oh, you're such a beautiful man, Coco. That's what I'm talking about, sir. One hundred dollar dues. He's not even Australian. Goodness gracious. Oh, my God. <laughs> Endo Mills is here. I feel like I have to take him. <laughs> it's it's Smoot, you give a little bit more. Smoot did actually give the charity earlier. <laughs> I feel like I have to take him for the meme. I'll probably play him in the AHL. Coco, one of these days, buddy. Despite my desires to not be on an airplane anytime soon, I will get over to Japan, I promise. 
Let's claim Derek Grant. Why not? He'll be in the AHL. But we have Derek Glant. Derek Glant? Derek Glant. Elite 1C. Derek Glant as we hit double digit wins again. Not too shabby. We're also losing games 11 to 1. We are really closing in on having to make a video about Carey Price. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do some of the other things that are on that list that have yet to be revealed either. I already didn't want to make the Garfield cart video, and I got to do that. <laughs> Season 2 has come to a close. Coco, I fucking love you. And again, thank you, everybody that have, has donated so far. If you can, fantastic. If you can't, it's okay. It's all good. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Let's take a look here. At the boys, Spencer Abbott led the way. Look at Hobgawax. Easily our best player. Easily. He was a holdout, making things happen. Bought Garfield card on Steam this week because of you. It's under $2. It's true, Endo. It's true. Stomach it for two, two hours, you know. Pro Cop minus 88, 12 points for the captain. Justin Pogge and Andrew Hammond. It was uh, it was a time. It was a time with those two. Uh, around the league. Oh my god, I just saw what Roman Yossi did. But we had McKinnon and Kucherov, the only 100 point forwards. That's kind of nuts. Leading goal scorer Matthews, Forsberg, Kucherov, Pacioretty, Pasternak all hit 50. Defensively. That happened. Defensively, that happened. <laughs> oh, God. And in goal, winningest Andre Vasilevsky. Top save percentage for a starter was Mackenzie Blackwood. LOL. Also there with John Gibson. Hey, Mark Andre Plurry in St. Louis. Love to see it. Thatcher Demko up there. Rookie of the year, Nikolai Voinov. Likely going to beat Connor McMichael. Good season for Hendrick Slap here as well after being the AHL player of the year. It was a good time. So we won 10 games. You already kind of got to look at the playoff tree there. The only matchup cut off on your screen is Anaheim and St. Louis. But that is what the playoff picture is is looking like heading into Season 2, which we will very much not be a part of. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I know you said you're more of a healthy guy as of late. I mean, look at me. I'm only so healthy. <laughs> I'm only so healthy. <sighs> Top five chips. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Top five chips, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Can we get Pro Cop the Pride tape? I mean, I'll get. Are you allowed to change that? If so, everybody on this team, once we start like drafting people in, we'll get the Pride tape. Top five chips: Nacho Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos, the, the fucking green bag Sun Chips. Uh, all any all dress chips are fucking phenomenal. And. uh... Uh, 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 I can't think of a fourth one. Stick tape. Stick tape. Yeah, don't. Can you do outright pride tape? Hey, you can't. Rainbow surprise. <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> I thought that was something else. For shits and giggles. Urban Dictionary, I'm afraid to look this up. Worth the Google search. Is it? Is it? All right. Rainbow Surprise. Wow, it's not a thing. Everything is a thing on Urban Dictionary, but Rainbow Surprise isn't? Okay. Okay. Well, fair enough. There you go. Luke Prokop. I should give Luke Prokop abilities. I should. I should. You're allowed to edit abilities. Let's fucking go. Gold born leader. 
Because I said so. Because I said so. I'm tempted to give him, like, thunderclap as well. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna make, we're gonna make Luke Prokop amazing. Why not? We're gonna make Luke Prokop amazing. Because I don't care. Because I don't care. He gets one T. He gets one T. He gets seeing eye. He gets thunderclap. Beautiful. We're gonna give him send it. We're gonna give him send it. And we'll also give him snipe elsewhere on the 75! The 75 from elsewhere. I am 75 away from having to make a video about Carrie Price. <laughs> there we go. We'll make Luke Prokop a god. Because why not? Elsewhere, thank you very goddamn much. Appreciate you tremendously. Our Captain Luke Prokop. You love to see it. You love to see it. Again, you guys are the reason why I was able to work out this deal with, uh, with soft giving to put on streams like this, so. You guys are amazing. Let's see who wins the Stanley Coop. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Who wins the Stanley Coop? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Who's it gonna be? The Toronto Maple Leafs. Have won the Stanley Cup. San Diego Gulls win the Calder. Only in the video game, they'll say. But the Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup over the Anaheim Ducks in seven games. The Anaheim, we left John Gibson exposed in the expansion draft. Ducks. Roman Yossi won the Art Ross. Nathan McKinnon won the Hart. Yossi won the Norris and the Lady Bing. Calder went to Voinoff. Sandy won the Con Smythe. John Gibson, the Vesna. Luke Prokop wins the Masterton. Let's go. Hamora with the 25. We're over a thousand raised for charity. You'll love to see it. Hamora, thank you very, very much. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Austin Matthews wins a Selkie. McKinnon to Ted Lindsay and Matthews, the Rocket Richard. Jack Quinn was the top point getter and league MVP. Wyatt Kalanuk scored the most goals as a defenseman. Uh, Will Cool, top rookie. Kalanuk, top defenseman. Philip Lindbergh, top goalie. Lukas Dostal, MVP of the playoffs. So, there you go. That is season two. Season two. In the books. Let's look at our progress reports here. Hamora, again, I'm very happy that I get to do stuff like this. Very, very happy. Let's see. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Morales is up to an 82. That is a higher overall than I ever thought he'd get. Eskalinen's an 80. Korchinski went up like 11 points, dude. He started as a 62. We're getting insane development. Oh my god. Bobrovsky's up to a 68. As a see, that's how you know it's fucked up and you can't trust it. It says he has like big hitter and he's a goalie. GG's on the progress reports. What are you doing, M-Dog? The dog doesn't know what to do. It's so hot here. She's been laying... It's been, it's been cooler to lay on a carpeted floor than it has been to lay on my bed. Shit's nuts. To the draft, everybody. We need some good mojo. We need some good mojo here. Top pick. Number one overall pick. Because this pick will belong to Crash Andrews who donated enough to earn the right to get a pick. Crash, sweet, beautiful Mandrews, will it be a number one overall pick? Third again. Third again. Well, we have now lost the lottery three times in a row. <laughs> Ryan Getzloff retires, Corey Perry as well, Dustin Brown. Louis Erickson, Nick Felino, among others. Patrick Maroon as well. Defensively, Char retires as a blue. Just, just 
twist that knife into my heart. Jack Johnson's gone. And in goal, Craig Anderson, Carter Hutton, and after one season back in the bigs, Justin Pogey. Beautiful. John John, what's going on? Carter Camper actually retired too. Comes to scout. Fair enough. Fair enough. My nose itches like a son of a bitch right now, and I hate it. To the draft. So, Crash Mandrews, the pick is yours as we miss out on... So that's obviously computer-generated. Meechkoff is not. Crash. Crash. Andrews. If that is your real name. Crash motherfucking Andrews. You have a real chance here, buddy, to screw us if you want to. A computer-generated franchise player means Connor Bedard's available at number three. What's it gonna be, Crash? What's it gonna be? Sport Watch on the 25, Coco sent me. Thank you very much, by the way. Coco, you beautiful man. Coco, you absolutely beautiful man. Sport, thank you for... Thank you very, very much. Crash says go down. All right, we're going down. We're going down. What's it going to be, Crash? Crash, you got a minute and 55. I know what he's doing. What, taking the guy who was ranked 69th? That's my guess. Uh, that's my guess. Or he's just going to wait out the full minute and a half. Fuck it, Bedard. He's wasting your time. Yes, he is. That's all right. He may have wasted our time, but he makes the right choice at the end. Uh, somehow, some way, we are going to end up with Connor Bedard. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Connor Bedard, come on down. <laughs> It's as if we got the number one overall pick anyway. Thank goodness. Ooh. Crash, I love you. Thank you. Hell of a pick there. Nate, you are technically up next, sir. If Nate is here, he is next. As we go to pick number 34, do we really care about who else was drafted? I don't. Nate, you are up, sir. You have full freedom to sort as you want to. It is your call in terms of what we do here. It is your call. I'd imagine you'd want to sort. Got a sort potential, yeah. So you got a three out of four medium elite, a couple of two out of four elites. Any confirmed low elites? A three out of four low elite and Johan Sonnenberg as well. And then do we have anything for like top six? Is a confirmed medium top six forward, Lucas Fox. A couple of other top six options. Those are uh, your best options and a three out of four medium top four defender. Those are the best guys. In this draft at this stage. Nate, what are you thinking? Sort by Central Scouting. Well, according to our scouts, these guys suck. That Jocelyn guy is there, though. From Furlunda. Lucas Munzenberg or a steal by that logic. I mean, his name is Munzenberger. He, he can't possibly be a disappointment, you know? You can't possibly. Gertsen, are we locking that in? Are we locking in Cyrus Gertsen? He is, uh... 
Okay, we're not locking in Cyrus Gertson. You got a minute and 20. Yikes. Yeah, he uh, was not good. He was not good. It's a tough call, Nate. It's a tough call. McCutcheon. Who are Freddie, Frederick McCutcheon. We know absolutely nothing about him. Nate, are you locking in the shot in the dark on Frederick McCutcheon? There it is. Frederick McCutcheon will be our second round pick. 65 medium top six isn't, uh, isn't great, but it's not horrific. He has 86 offensive awareness and 84 defensive awareness. He's also a pretty damn good skater, except for the speed. So, not a horrible pick. Not a horrible pick. That brings us to Hawks. Hawks, are you still here? Is Hawks still in the house for our third round pick? If Hawks isn't around, we're looking at catcher. Again, 10 bucks will get you a pick, 25 gets you a full freedom to pick whoever you want. All right, Hawks, you donated $10 redos, which means you get to pick one of these players. No scrolling, no sorting. <laughs> Actually, I'll let you sort by potential, I guess. Maybe. Go down. Fuck you, Crash. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, no, I feel, I feel like for 10 bucks, I feel like for 10 bucks you can risk it on one of these guys. I feel like you can. Crash stop. <laughs> I'll give us a McCutcheon. Medium top six. Hawks, what are you thinking? Who do you who do you take the risk on? Axelson. That's uh That is a risk. Three years out though, he'll be mid sixties. Because of PJ. Fair enough. Yes, for Axelson's the pick. 66 low four. Fair enough. Hawks, it wasn't that bad. Catcher. You are up, sir. In the fourth round, you're allowed full freedom of the board. Uh, and all Brecht is right there. So uh, now would be the time to take him if we were to ever take him. So otherwise, he'll be off the board. So, catcher. Says sort by potential. Again, top guy is Albrecht. In terms of the most likely confirmed potential. You got a couple of guys with two out of four for low elite. And catcher is going to be smart and go with Albrecht. Who uh, is going to be... He's going to be a hell of a project. 48 overall, medium elite. All right. All right. Not bad. It'll take him a while, but hey, it's nice to have a medium elite. Uh, we are looking at Top Hat. Top Hat, if you're still here, otherwise it's Coco. Top Hat, you would have to select from one of these people here. Top Hat's not still here, and Coco is. Coco does have complete control of the board. Normal draft to glory, yes. Is Top Hat here? First goalie, Desmond Blacker. Fair enough. Desmond's the guy. He had a 947 save percentage in 18 games. Okay. Desmond Blacker out of Austria. 58 medium fringe. I mean, it's not that bad, if we're being honest. Coco, my friend, it's round six. It's not the best pick in the world to have. But you have full uh, control of the board, sir. You have the ability to sort if you want. It's Coco's pick. Otherwise, it's elsewhere's pick. Because you guys are insane. Because you guys are insane. That's now three German speakers drafted to the peg. Excuse me, it's Peg City. 
the peg indicates Winnipeg. That's not where we are. Peg City is completely different. Completely different. So Coco, elsewhere, based Hamora, Sport Watch, kind of on deck here. Fairness, all of them have the ability to sort. I mean, these are the uh, the two risk picks at this point. Those are the two risk picks at this point. Then you got the group of low elites. Those are pretty much the ones to take a risk on. Don't think Coco's here. Don't know if Elsewhere is in the house still either. I don't know if Amora's here. If not, it goes to Sportwatch. Again, these are kind of the four players that might maybe possibly be decent. Elsewhere, I haven't heard from Coco. Go for it. It's your pick. We'll give it to Elsewhere. I mean, I can sort by whatever. But these are the best four people left according to potential. So do you go for one of them? Yes, Maxim Leeson. Overager, five years out. At 20 years old, five years out, you want to, uh, let's, let's just, let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> Also five years out at 19. Uh, well, in terms of potential, you have Hadar or James. <laughs> oh my god, did I break up with my girlfriend? No. No, she is currently in Boston. She'll be coming home tomorrow. Shout out to bachelorette parties. So she is down in Baston with some friends. All right. Elsewhere goes with Pablo James. Son of LeBron, and just as big of a bust. <laughs> Oof, and the pick number 199. Sport watch, it's all yours. You have full control of the board. It's the seventh round, so good luck. We can look at whatever you want, sort it however you want. This pick is yours. As a thank you for donating, unfortunately for you, it ended up, uh, what do we need? Literally everything. Literally everything. You can't go wrong with selecting any possible position. We need an Italian, and there is one. Cohen Packard. The great Italian name of Cohen. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Oh boy, we got, a, we got the Austrians here, the Austrian connection. Need a face puncher. We could sort by enforcers. Pointing out Griba. Sean Griba. Coco's in the house. Any Japanese guys? I doubt it. No. They they just don't show up, man. It's a damn shame. You draft players that have Hungary in this game. Yes. They show up in the extra Liga. You know, like Lewis. The great Hungarian name. Known as Lewis. Sport watcher, we locking in Griba, or you want to look around elsewhere? You got a minute and a half to round out this draft. You got a minute and a half. I don't know what to play tonight. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Game of the year. <laughs> Absolute game of the year. Oh, goodness. We got a minute. We got a minute. Will it be Griba? That's the only player that's been mentioned. Real, isn't that the best where you have everything in the world to play? But you don't want to play anything. It's a good time, isn't it? Alright, I think. Just got back from an ad. Sport watch, we can still go for Griba. Or we can look elsewhere. You got 35 seconds. It is your call. It is your call. Oh, let 
Let's see. Down to 15. The final nine. Packard, he shouts out. Cohen Packard right at the end. Low 756. Oof. <laughs> a bit of an oof. All in all, though, I mean, a pretty damn good draft for the sole purpose of us getting Connor Bedard third overall, which should have never happened. Absolutely insane. So now, as we look, Bobrovsky has to be signed. Uh, we'll probably end up holding on to Hammond and Schneider. We'll let go of them for the moment. Scott Darling as well. So that's what the goaltending looks like at this point. Um, gotta hope Bobrovsky goes up another 10 to 15 points in the next couple of years. Defensively, Morales will be signing his ELC. Korchinski's close. Uh, we'll let go of Fitzgerald. We'll let go of Keeper. Let go of Stanton. Basically all of these dudes we can let go of. Gragnani, Witkowski, uh, Bianca Batuka needs to be signed to his ELC. Cardinal as well. That is the defensive situation. I mean, we do have Albrecht as a medium elite. Outside of that, and Morales and Korchinski at the top, it's looking a little bit rough, but I'm, I'm excited for Lou Morales. Uh, on the right wing side, we do have to make the decision if we're signing Eskalainen. I, I think we probably should, if we're being honest. We also have to sign Connolly to his ELC. Uh, we'll keep Hob Jalox or whatever the hell, how do whatever, Jaden. Keep them for a while. Pretty much all of these left wings are going to go. Except we have to sign Shields and Finger to their ELC. So, offensively, uh, yeah, we're only a couple drafts in. It's a bit rough. Oh, let's see. And then at center, nobody to sign. The good thing is, though, we have Connor Bedard and Yerky Eskalainen. That is a hell of a combination that we have here. Very excited for that.